Hello, Marcus Lim here today with Joker Killer Smile. So this is the uh, collection of the Joker Killer Smile series uh, that came out uh, in three issues. So you've got we've got issue number one, which you can see is actually also the same uh, cover as this uh, hardcover collection. And then we've got the second issue and. Actually, this is a variant for variant cover for the third issue. Okay, yeah. So three issues are collected um, together. Okay, it's by Jeff Lemire with Andrea Sorrentino. Uh, I think uh, they actually previously worked together for the Green Arrow uh, series uh, in the New Fifty Two, which was a very great series. That one is one of the highlights in the New Fifty Two. Um, but yeah, here there's joint forces for this uh, Black Label, uh, Black Label uh, series about the Joker. But even though it's about the Joker, right, in the title, um, the main character is actually not him. It's actually rather a psychiatrist called uh, Ben Arnell, right? So it says here Ben, Doctor Ben Arnell, right? Who's uh, who? wants to, well he believes that he can kind of like cure the Joker from his madness but well you know how it turns out right um, instead of him trying to cure the Joker he's the one who slowly descends into madness okay um, so yeah so even though it's it's the Joker killer smile it's actually more about how he influences people like this doctor and as you can see here, it says this special hardcover volume collects all three issues that I mentioned. And what makes me also really happy is that it's not just those three issues, but it says here the one shot coda, the epilogue, Batman the Smile Killer, is also in this hardcover collection. Now, that particular epilogue, I happened to miss it when it came out, so unfortunately, I don't have it in single issue. So it's really good to have it as well in this hardcover collection. Okay, so altogether there's four issues uh, in this volume. Okay, so that Joker Killer Smile. Let me remove the jacket. All right, so that's the jacket, and so this. Um, <laughs> This is Mr. Smiles um, from the. Um, as you well, when I get into the book, you'll see uh, why it's featured here. It is. It's actually the cover to the third issue. So the ver the one that I have, the third issue. Uh, this is the variant cover, but uh, but the regular cover for the third issue. This is the one. Um. All right. So Joker Killer Smile. Okay, so issue number one, book one, okay, so yeah, so as I mentioned, right, it's about this psychiatrist, Dr. Ben Arnell, uh, who believes that he can cure the Joker, and you know, you know how that goes, right? So slowly, we see his reality, or his world, crumbling. Actually, along the way, we see that his son is kind of like reading this seemingly innocent children's book featuring a character called Mr. Smiles. <laughs> and uh, the creepy thing is that uh, Joker happens to know about it. So, you know, what's the connection there um, that makes it rather unsettling, you know? Uh, yeah. So, you know, what's happening? So that's the nagging question throughout. The, you know, that's the driving narrative. Is, you know, what's real, what's not. And, and it's like the, the lines between reality and fantasy are kind of like really, really blurry. Right? To the point where, yeah, you can see that uh, it's pretty much driven the doctor mad. Alright, so this is the third issue, uh, which as I mentioned is 
same as this cover um, here. All right. <coughs> so that's Mr. Smiles again. And yeah, I should mention that the art by Andrea Sorrentino, yeah, really vividly conveys this unsettling kind of like feel really, really well. Now, there's the Batman, but he doesn't really feature much in this particular three issues. Okay, it's mainly about the Doctor and how the depths of madness that he's driven to. So I'm, and yeah, as you can see, I'm flipping through every single page. So yes, I'm de definitely revealing spoilers. If so, if you wish not to be spoiled, then you might want to skip to the end. But yeah, so so that's the end of the three issues. So here is the Batman Smile Killer one shot coda, <coughs> which as I mentioned, I missed out on uh, first time around when it came out in single issue. So now here we've got it in this collection as well. And the driving narrative for this one shot is actually similar to the, the um, Killer Smile three issues. But rather than focusing on the Doctor, it focuses on Bruce Wayne, okay? Um, and Mr. Smiles also happens to be featured again, but this time as like a TV show. Um, yeah, so the driving narrative this time around is actually on Bruce Wayne and whether his beliefs about, you know, him being a Batman and all that, is that real or or is that fantasy or is it just kind of like a made up reality um, many, you know, orchestrated by the Joker so it's again very unsettling you can see that <laughs> Dr. Arneo makes an appearance again with Bruce Wayne also in a psychiatric ward I think it might be Arkham Asylum um, so yeah what's happening right so that's the question again the lines between reality and fantasy becoming quite blurry again we don't quite know we can see Bruce Wayne killing his own dad is that real or not right because that's not the Batman that we know not how he becomes Batman and and it also ends on a very ambiguous note as well you see Bruce looks at the sky sees the bat signal but just a few panels later we see that there's actually nothing in the sky so it ends on a very unsettling ambiguous note leaving you to think or interpret for yourself what's what's real what's not so the so yeah um, these are the variant covers that's the one that I showed you one two three uh, that's the variant for the one shot small killer this is promotional artwork for book tree. These are some character sketches by Jeff, uh, by Andrea Sorrentino. That's the doctor over there. Uh, promotional. What's that? Trying to promotional art. Preliminary promotional art. Um, yeah. And here's uh. All right. Nice pencils and that's it yeah so um, there you go that's uh, the Joker killer smile that collects three issues plus the coda and um, yeah I mean it's it's not really about Joker you won't find an in-depth you know st story about the Joker himself but rather it's more about how he uh, takes others to the edge of madness, right? And again, right, it, it feels, uh, in that sense, right, the blurring the lines between reality and fantasy feels a lot like the Joker movie in 2019, the one with Arkin Phoenix, right? That one also uh, kind of leaves you with a very unsettling feeling as well about what's real or what's not real. So if you like that, then you definitely will enjoy this. But I guess if you don't really like, I mean, endings that are sort of ambiguous, then you might not uh, 
like this as much. That's what I would say. Uh, it doesn't tie everything up neatly in a bow. And in terms of whether there will be any follow-ups, who knows? Definitely seems like they're setting up something at the end, right? For some kind of follow-up, but we'll see. But I'm happy if it just ends as it, as it is in this ambiguous way, right? So that's uh, my um, yeah quick look at Joker Killer Smile. Um, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.